Most of us take breathing for granted, but not everyone is that fortunate. Because of an accident or illness, some people need assistance to breathe. They may rely on respiratory therapists. These professionals have gone to college for at least an associate's degree to learn about respiratory illnesses, conditions that affect the lungs, such as asthma and emphysema. Therapists also learn how to treat people who are having trouble breathing because of an injury or stroke. Struggling to breathe can be frightening, so a calm, reassuring manner is essential. That includes taking the time to clearly explain procedures and answer questions. We're going to put you on this machine. This machine is going to help you with, okay? Using a ventilator and breathing tube, the therapist delivers oxygen to a patient's lungs. They usually work under a doctor's supervision in hospitals and clinics, although some therapists visit patients through home care services. It's not unusual to work nights and weekends and spend a lot of time standing and bending. Tanks can be heavy, and because gas under high pressure can be hazardous, you must handle them with care. Much of this work can also be done by respiratory technicians, but because they have more limited responsibilities than therapists, the job of technician is being phased out. With America's population aging, it's expected that more therapists will be needed in the years ahead. So this field offers good job opportunities. Many people are able to breathe easier, knowing they're in the care of trained respiratory therapists.